the wrong kind of Linux. In the server world, Linux absolutely dominates. The world basically runs on Linux. When it comes to client-side Linux, Android and Chrome OS are two of the top Linux distros. Now, a lot of people will tell you that they are not real Linux distros. They don't count in that they're the wrong kind of Linux. People tend to only consider GNU or GNU Linux distros to be real Linux distros. At the same time, some people don't even want to refer to these Linux distros as Linux. They want, to, they want you to call them GNU Linux, as if GNU Linux systems are real Linux distros, but you have to specify GNU because even those aren't real Linux distros. Even GNU Linux distros aren't real Linux distros. But what about BusyBox based Linux distros? We still think of those as real Linux distros. Alpine Linux, for example, is based off of Muscle Libc and BusyBox, still a real Linux distro. People have said that we should use the term GNU Linux because it's, the GNU is arguably more important than the Linux kernel itself. Now, that's debatable, but it's a fair argument, right? So people have said that since we use the terms Android and Chrome OS to refer to those specific projects, that we should use the term GNU to refer to GNU-based distros. Now, GNU is great and all. They have great software, a um, lot of respect for them, nothing against that, not to knock it or anything, but it's only a subset of the software that goes into a Linux distro. Now, it's not just the kernel, it's not just GNU utilities, there are a lot of other one-off random utilities and, and things that are included. Also, we have things like the desktops, right? So we could just as well call a distro KDE or GNOME and just, just uh, name it based on a, a piece of software on the system. But we usually don't do that. So just as Android and Chrome OS are project names, um, this is basically just like Ubuntu and Arch Linux are project names. So that's what you call them. These are the terms that we actually use. Now, Ubuntu, for example, would refer to the entire collection of software or distro, just like Android refers to the entire collection of software, or distro. It's a Linux distro. Android is a Linux distro, just like Ubuntu, just like Arch. It's just using the Android runtime, and it's a heavily modified kernel, but Ubuntu, Arch Linux, uh, maybe less so Arch Linux, definitely Red Hat, they have modified Linux kernels. Basically, every distro has to build its own custom kernel, picking out the, the own custom settings. Now, how much they change the actual code of the kernel is another story. But in any case, there you have it. So criticize Android and Chrome OS all you want, and that may be valid criticism, but they are still Linux distros and very popular Linux distros. Now, if you disagree with me, just leave a comment down below letting everybody know, not just for me, but for other people who come along and watch this video um, so they can, uh, they can know your opinion and know what's, what's right or wrong or, or what to believe. So any thoughts, questions, criticisms, whatever you have, just leave a comment down below. Also, give me a thumbs up or if you strongly disagree with me, give me a thumbs down even. That's fine too. How, how, whatever you feel is right, thumbs up, thumbs down, but what you want to do is make sure you comment down below. That's probably even more important. Also hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon. So you have to hit the, help the bell icon, otherwise YouTube won't let you know when we come out with new videos and you don't want to miss out on a lot of the great stuff we have coming out. I'm not always going on and on about, you know, what's a real Linux distro or something like that. We have more videos like this, but we have a lot of great tech videos like, um, you know, electronic stuff, how to set up Raspberry Pis, coding, Linux tutorials, uh, 3D printing, networking, robots, and all sorts of other great stuff you don't want to miss out on. So definitely subscribe and definitely hit that bell icon. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on that next video.